Hey everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this starry tropical sunset. It's really easy and great practice for blending oil paint, which I do have a video on so you can go ahead and check that out. But this kind of stuff is what I started off with when I was new to oil many years ago. I painted a lot of sunsets and sticking to simpler, less intimidating paintings when you're new is a really great way to get a feel for the medium. The colors I'm going to be using are Thalo Blue, Cerulean Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red Light, Titanium White, Cadmium Lemon, and Ivory Black. For the medium, I'm going to be working with Galkid and Gamzol and I'm mixing about a half and half mixture in this little dish that's actually a lid of a jar which you can see there's some dried up paint in it it's not gonna interfere with my colors but I've used that little thing tons of times so that's what that is. Gal Kid is going to make the paint dry faster and we're mixing the medium into the paint to increase the flow of it so I'm gradually going to be dipping my brush into the medium mixture and then I'm bringing that medium onto my palette to mix with my colors. So here I'm mixing some phthalo blue with a little bit of titanium white and ivory black and I'm placing that color onto the top of the canvas. Then I'm mixing some of that same color with a alizarin crimson and a bit of titanium white to build more of a purple tone as the sunset transitions to warmer colors. Then I keep adding more alizarin crimson and a bit of cerulean blue and blend that color downwards, sometimes adding more white here and there. Next, I mix some alizarin crimson with some titanium white and cadmium red light, and I lay that color down with a bit of space between the previous purple, but then I blended those two colors together. I also mixed some cadmium red light with cadmium lemon and a bit of titanium white and I laid that color down and also reserved the very bottom for just cadmium lemon and blended that with the reds above it. I went back to the previous colors and I just blended those things together a bit more to make it all look smoother. Next it's time for the clouds. I mixed the ivory black with a bit of phthalo blue and alizarin crimson and proceeded to paint the clouds which are going to be dark because it's a darker sunset, it's evening, um, these clouds are a bit more shadowed. And the clouds that were up higher, I painted them darker, so I didn't add any other colors. I think for the most part it was just ivory black. Then using some of the warmer sunset colors, I painted those colors reflecting off of the bottom of the clouds. The higher the clouds, the more red I added, and alizarin crimson as well. Next, it was time for the stars. 
I mixed some titanium white with cerulean blue and phthalo blue and I put just a little bit onto my brush and softly dabbed those little dots over the sky which looks weird but I, it will make sense in a second. I also went over them with a dry brush and just dabbed them over to make them really soft and hazy and faded into the sky which makes this even weirder but I promise I'm going somewhere with this. Then with titanium white I just placed these dots into the center of the hazy orbs and this created the effect of glowing stars. I also dabbed over some smaller white dots as they are without any glow just throughout the sky to give it some more variety. And the stars are really my favorite part and what brings the piece together I think. So now you can leave this as it is if you want, or you can add some kind of silhouette trees to the bottom. I decided to go with palm trees, it's a little bit tropical inspired, I live in Florida. But you can paint whatever trees you like. doesn't have to be perfectly realistic and as you can see it's not. It's more of an imaginative piece. It's just a fun colorful painting that you can do a lot with and even mess around with all kinds of different colors for the sky, the stars. Just put your own spin on it and it's great practice for blending colors together. And that completes this painting tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you try to paint something similar, do share with me on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys come up with after watching these tutorials. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!